Did you get the free SpaceX Starlink tier upgrade? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of focus and misty morning. That is it, clean, refreshing. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a tech day. It is a SpaceX Starlink day today. And it's kind of some good news that just came out. Now, I talked to you guys about this news in Friday's Live. If you haven't been on any of the lives, try to hang out with me and my wife, actually. She's been with me the last couple of weeks, which has been fun. We've been on live for about an hour or two on Fridays. So if you're here new, check us out. It is a lot of fun and we just hang out and just kind of shoot it a little bit and just talk whatever we wanna talk about what happened during the week. So once again, that is on Friday. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel and click this notification button so when I do go live, you will be notified of it and then click all. And if you enjoy this video, even in the least, throw the video a thumbs up, that would be very helpful. And if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button, you can click that. If not, that's okay consider becoming a member of the channel. So I want to get into this today and give you the good news, so to speak, on what is going on. Now, I brought up a map during the live stream that shows the coverage area, the waiting list area, let's say, for Starlink has become condensed. There's a lot more availability than there was before, and I'm going to get into that with you in just a second. I was reading an article over on PC Magazine, and they kind of summed it up a little bit. I want to go through it with you and then give you, of course, my commentary on it. Most importantly, most importantly, at the end of this video, down below, I want to hear from you. Number one, where are you located? What state, what country, where are you? And has your service been upgraded? And if you don't know, it might have just happened without you having any knowledge of it. Go into your app and check it out. See if it still says best effort, and now maybe it will say residential. Anyways, one other thing. If you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, go check them out. They're 100% free. Go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. So let's get right into this article, and then we'll kind of talk about this a little bit and see where where this is going. I think it is positive, all right? Very positive. So let's get into it. Speeds for Starlink took a hit last year amid a flood of interested users, but SpaceX is now upgrading speeds for some subscribers of Starlink's best effort tier. Last week, several best effort tier users reported receiving emails from SpaceX upgrading their service to normal or residential Starlink tier. Very important. That is a big step. Quote, with residential, you will receive priority service resulting in improved speeds, particularly during times of network congestion, SpaceX wrote in this email. Quote, there is no change in your monthly service price or additional cost for this upgrade. We're just upgrading you and we're sending you an email that we did it. Very nice. The best effort tier currently advertised download speeds of 5 to 50 megabits. In contrast, the standard residential tier offers speeds from 20 to 100 megabits down. The emails arrive as SpaceX has been freeing up capacity for Starlink, which uses orbital satellites to beam broadband to users on the ground. Last week, the company also lifted the Starlink residential tier waiting list for most parts of Western U.S. Now, this is the map that I brought up. I'll bring it up here. Now, you can see that in the middle or the eastern side of the U.S. is still pretty much congested, whereas on the west coast, we can see California all the way up to Washington. That whole area is now opened up, as well as Colorado and Arizona. The article continues. The top map shows the residential Starlink tier currently available in the U.S. compared to the map from March 3rd. And like I said, there is that disparity between the two. Once again, Colorado, Arizona, 
Arizona, as well as the entire West Coast, California up into Washington. To increase capacity, SpaceX has already launched 495 additional Starlink satellites in this year alone. In the email, the company added, quote, this upgrade is made possible through the introduction of Starlink's high-performing satellites, SpaceX's faster launching rate, and the continuous deployment of software features to optimize Starlink network. It is unclear how many best effort users have been upgraded to normal residential tier. Some say that they have not received an upgrade as of yet. SpaceX didn't immediately respond to our request for comment, but on Facebook and Reddit, users who received an upgrade report being based in Georgia, Texas, Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Pennsylvania, along with Ontario, Canada, all areas mostly waitlisted on Starlink. SpaceX originally introduced the best effort tier in August for pre-ordered customers who had been waiting months or over a year for access to Starlink. The program offers customers access to Starlink's internet service, but at a significantly slower speed, just like we said before. The speed is 5 to 50 megabits down in comparison to 20 to 100 megabits down. For now, the company has been giving consumers access to best effort tier only, quote, to existing pre-order customers in areas where residential service is currently at capacity. To bypass the waiting list, users can try Starlink Roam or business tier, but they will have to pay more. So in my opinion, I don't think that you should get either Starlink Roam or Starlink Business unless you need that specific coverage. If you need Roam, it's because you are roaming and you're not going to have your Starlink unit in one specific area. You're going to be on an RV or you go camping a lot and you're constantly moving around. If you get business class, you're gonna be paying a lot more, about $500 a month and the actual unit itself is about $2,500. So I wouldn't go down that road. If you just need Starlink, like residential, then get best effort if possible. Because what we see here and is what I have predicted is that SpaceX is now migrating people from best effort to residential, sometimes without them even knowing it. We see that some people have received emails from SpaceX saying that they just had their service upgraded and it is free of charge. You now have been moved from best effort to residential. But but some people that I have heard from that have DM'd and emailed, they have not received any email and they have been upgraded and they would never have known it unless they went into their application and took a look at their bill. And at the top of the bill, it says residential instead of best effort now. They're like, wow. So they wrote into me to let me know that this has happened. And that's what I let you guys know on the last live event that was last Friday. So this is really interesting and it's very positive, okay? because we are seeing that there is a now a movement to opening up the U.S. The U.S. has been congested for quite some time. Opening up all of California, all of Washington, that whole piece, that whole western side of the U.S. is a lot of people. Colorado and Arizona, wide open also. That is a lot of people. We do also see that now some of these cells, like here internally to me in Florida, we're seeing cells open up, whereas for a while, they just had the entire thing shut down, all waiting lists. And I remember making a video saying that this map just doesn't make sense. There is no reason to have Lake Okeechobee being locked down where there's a waiting list when there's no one there but fish. All right. It just doesn't make sense. And I think that they use this broad paintbrush and they just painted over everything, waiting list everywhere because they were trying to figure things out. Now we're seeing more and more satellites launching. Like they said in this article, 495 new satellites. That is a lot. And the majority of these satellites are version 1.5s, but a few of them are 2.0s, 2.0 minis. Now remember, the 2.0 minis are not helping this matter out. What is helping is the 1.5s that there is just a lot more of them. Once again, about 500 new satellites up there. So that is what is helping.
helping. What's really going to help and really open up the entire U.S. and the world is when we start seeing the version 2 minis up there. They have about four times the capacity as a single 1.5 unit. That is a lot. And then finally, when we get the full-size version of the 2s instead of the 2 minis, those 2s are going to just absolutely change everything, in my personal opinion. The waiting list is going to just dissolve, and now we're going to see customers from 1 million all the way up to 4 million with absolutely no problem with congestion. That is major. That is a really, really positive thing. If you're currently with SpaceX Starlink, just understand that as things were really bad last year, and I feel your pain in a lot of my videos kind of say it in my face or verbally. I was just having a really hard time with them because the speeds just got slower and slower and slower while their service price went up and up and up. That was a problem. Well, I think that we are now at that equilibrium in my personal opinion, and I think things are going to start getting better. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I want to hear from you. Down below, let me know if you have best effort and have been migrated either automatically to residential or they migrated you to residential and they sent you the email. Let us know down below your location and if they did migrate you or if they didn't. I want to know because I want to take a look at where is this happening. Now, according to the article, a lot of this is happening in areas that say that there is still a waiting list, which I think is very odd. Why is that happening for people that are in a waiting list area and not in a non-congested area? So once again, Please, down below, put this information. Have you been automatically upgraded by SpaceX Starlink? And if so, when did it happen and where are you located? All right. Anyways, guys, I hope you got something out of this video today. If you have, please throw it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click this button. Do all of those things. If you want to say thank you, you can down here. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for you another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.